Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for your one-stop shop of buying or selling coins and solo grinding services. Use code ZERK at checkout for 10% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over the new legends that we have coming to the game tomorrow. Now per usual they didn't reveal the limited time card but I do have a hint that we can go off of to kind of determine who it is and I'm pretty sure I know exactly who it's going to be but if you guys have not seen my videos from earlier today I basically covered every single thing that came out in the game today except for the mutt level rewards which i'm actually currently mutt level 62 and i'm grinding my way up i'm gonna stay up all night for you guys try to get to max mutt level today if i can't then maybe i'll have that video out for you guys sunday but i will have it pretty soon and i'll have those rewards out for you guys grinding pretty hard of course i did drop some videos going over the gauntlet players the gauntlet rewards series 4 ghost of madden players and a bunch of other stuff so make sure you guys go and check those videos out but we do have the new legend for the week 14 and you guys can see it's Jason Taylor. Now, this sucks. Not the card. The card is really good. It sucks personally for me because I have spent so much training on Aaron Donald that it would not make sense for me to pick up this Jason Taylor card. And if you guys know from last year, if you guys have been following me since Madden, uh, I think it was actually Madden 17, uh, was when I had the card. Ultimate Legend Jason Taylor. Oh my lord you want to talk about the best qb spy you can possibly have ever it's jason taylor and the reason is and especially with the way that usering is this year and how like crazy jump animations are jason taylor is going to be the best qb spy of any card ever literally it's it's freaking ridiculous because jason taylor used to be a safety so he's actually got really good jumping and he's got a really good catch. So when I used to put Jason Taylor in a QB spy, slants over the middle, in routes, even drags, this man will jump that route and intercept it. Like literally, if it's an in route he, and it goes right over his head, I guarantee you he's gonna pick it. Plus he's six foot six. He's got great speed to 85 speed. I don't know what his catching is, but it's gonna be great. And I promise you guys, if you put him in a QB spy, he will get some interceptions. It's just absolutely insane how good of a QB spy Jason Taylor is. But the card itself has 85 speed with 88 acceleration. So really, really good speed, like I said. Strength, only an 88 with an 86 tackling. 94 play rec, only an 86 block chip, which really does suck. But he does have a 93 finesse boost. So com now comparing that card to some other cards we have in the game, let's start off with Miles Garrett. Now, Miles Garrett is 83 speed with 89 excel. So you're looking at... Two more speed, one uh, one less excel actually. 88 strength, 86 tackling. 88 strength, bear 94, 85 to 86 tackle. Uh, Miles Garrett though does have 91 block shed with 91 power move. So you're looking at five more block shed, but you're looking at two less finesse move over Jason Taylor. So Taylor does beat him in finesse. Not much else to be honest. But like I said before, QB spy. This man's freaking insane. Now, I know that may seem ridiculous to put, you know, a, a legend defensive end. Maybe he's going to be, like, the best player on your team. I promise you, you put him in QB Spy, is going to be ridiculous. Now, like I said, I do have Aaron Donald at my defensive end right now. Of course, I did not pay a million coins for him. I used training points, which still cost me a ton of training points to go ahead and get him. So, he has 79 speed with 86 acceleration. You're looking at 6 more speed on Taylor with 2 more excel. Uh, 88 strength, only has 91, which still 3 more. Not, not a big difference there. Uh, 87 block shed, 93 from power move. So, you're looking at 1 less block shed. Same finesse move as he has power move, but the big difference is the 85 speed compared to only 79. So Taylor is going to have way better speed than this Aaron Donald. He won't be a million coin card, I'd say, but he's definitely one of the best defensive ends. And in terms of right ends, he's actually the highest overall right end in the game at 94. Plus, you can power him up. He'll be a 95 overall right end, which I'm sure you power him up, put the right chems on him. He's going to be beastly. If you get past rush cam completely tiered out and you power this guy up, he's going to have 97 finesse move and he's also going to have 86 speed with 89 excel. The card's going to be looking really good. And the other set legend that we know of is going to be Dallas Clark. Now, Clark has 85 speed, 77 strength. Those are okay stats, but then holy crap, when it comes to receiving, this guy's amazing. Now, he's 6'3", 94 catch, 94 catch in traffic, 91 spec catch, 94 short, and 
medium route running with a 75 run block. That is one heck of a tight end. Now, I want to compare him to a couple tight ends that I'm sure a lot of you guys use, including the newest addition to my team, tight end at Team of the Week, George Kittle, who obviously is going to outmatch him in speed with 91 compared to 85. That's just not even close. That shows what Kittle brings to the team. I also have a gameplay up with Kittle on my channel. Uh, 77 strength, same exact strength. Catching stats, though, 93 catch, 90 catch in traffic, 93 spec catch. 94 catch. 94 catch of traffic, 91 spec catch. So Kittle will definitely be a little bit faster and get you some more aggressive catches. Uh, route running wise though, 94, 94. I mean, you're looking at 87, 84. That's a huge difference in the route running. Plus 77 run block compared to 75. So, I mean, straight up, if you're looking for a catch in traffic, maybe a slant over the middle, uh, an in route, something like that. If you want to put him on a post, you want to take a risk at getting hit by a safety. I feel like Dallas Clark is more than likely going to come down with that. But if you want someone to throw a high point fade to, you're going with Kittle. Uh, and especially with the fact that he can run up the seams and maybe even burn past the safeties. Also, Travis Kelsey, 86 speed, 89 excel. So he does have one more speed, 77 strength, 84 strength with 92 catch, 93 catch of traffic, and a 92 spec catch. So you're looking at 94, 94, 91. Again, not as good spec catch, but that's not really Dallas Clark's you know, game. Uh, 94 short and medium route running though. Kelsey, 90 short, 87 medium route running with 81 run block. So he's a little bit better run blocker, slightly faster, and he's not comparable when it comes to the route running. So really, Dallas Clark, as an all-around receiving tight end, probably the best tight end in the game. Still pretty solid run block at 75, pretty solid run blocking. Uh, 85 speed, not too bad. I mean, it's pretty good speed, to be honest. It's just a Kittle being out really is kind of set the, the uh, bar high for speed at tight ends. And then just the catching traffic, the route running is absolutely incredible. Now, they also did say that's not all that's coming in this week's Legend Drop. There's a limited time legend that's a Mutt community favorite. Now... They said that the past couple of weeks, guys, and every single time they've done it, what has that player been? A Hall of Fame upgrade from earlier this year. Now, I got to say, the past two weeks, they've done offensive Hall of Fame players, aka the Hall of Fame players you got at the beginning of the game. I did not think they would do offensive players back-to-back -back weeks, so I kind of predicted last week we would see either Rod Woodson or Brian Urlacher. Now, they've done Terrell Davis, and they've done Dan Marino as the limited time cards. I don't see them breaking the trend for the next three weeks. I feel like they have to finish up with Terrell Owens, Brian Urlacher, and Rod Woodson before they introduce some other limited time legends. So, take a look at what they actually found in the game. So, someone tweeted this at me, and they found this in the game. 11 days left, I believe. This was on the loading screen this morning, if you guys saw that. And it says, reminder, run errands for Brian tomorrow morning. Now, of course... People are going to say Brian Dawkins, Brian Westbrook, whatever. It's Brian Urlacher. It makes sense it's Brian Urlacher because they've done two offensive Hall of Fame players in a row, and now they have to do the defensive Hall of Fame player next. I doubt they would go, you know, three offensive players in a row, finish off with T.O., and then do the defensive ones. It makes sense they would mix it up, and maybe the next two weeks they'll do defensive ones or do Brian this week, T.O. next and then finish it off with Rod Woodson. So I believe tomorrow's limited time legend in the morning is going to be Brian Urlacher, which of course we just had Dick Butkus. We have uh, a bunch of other middle linebackers, including like the new Roquan Smith. So personally, this Brian Urlacher card will not make my team. I'm sure the card will be definitely like a, a freaking beast though. So going to be a pretty good limited time legend for tomorrow. And then of course the other legends for today, pretty solid. I mean, we have Dallas Clark, and we have Jason Taylor, like the best QB spot you'll ever have in your life, slash still a really good pass rusher. And then Dallas Clark, who's just a very, very good overall catching tight end. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe and comment. Let me know down below who you think the limited time legend for tomorrow is going to be. I do believe it will be Brian Erlacher. I don't see it being Brian Dawkins. That'd be, to be honest, just kind of random. If it is Brian Dawkins, then rip. <laughs> but I do believe it will be Brian Urlacher. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. Thank you guys for all the support today. It's been absolutely incredible. I see all you guys commenting all the videos, smashing the like button. It means a lot. Thank you very much. See you guys next time.